Hello everyone, in this video we will be looking at Sparkle. What does Sparkle stands for? Sparkle is W3C standard and it stands for Sparkle Protocol and RDF Query Language. Sparkle is an query language for querying data in RDF format for the semantic web. RDF stands for Resource Description Framework. RDF let you describe data using a collection of three parts statement that is a triple. A triple consists of subject, predicate, and object. You can think of them as entity identifier, attribute name, and attribute value. The subject and predicate are represented using URI, that is uniform resource identifiers, which makes absolutely clear what we are talking about. Like name of a person, and age of that particular person, not about the age of other things. Sparkle uses RDF most popular, turtle syntax, in which URI are represented between less than and greater than signs. And to make URI simpler to write, turtle syntax often shortens the URI by having prefix. Comments start by hash sign. Sparkle is similar to SQL. Data query language works similar to SQL, so if you know structured query language, then you will see many things are familiar to you. For queries, we need variables. It is denoted by question mark. Example, question mark title and question mark number. Query for variables is performed via select statement. Select statement return values of variables. The return values are in the table form. It can have several serializations like XML, JSON. Ask statement, returns true or false. Describe statement, return a description of a resource. Construct queries, can build RDF triples or graphs. These are some of the URI prefixes, and what they stands for. You can find more prefixes in the link given below. Sparkle, complex query patterns. Sparkle graph pattern can be combined to form complex queries for RDF graph traversal, also known as conjunctive. If you conjunctively combine one triple pattern with another triple pattern then it means both will be conjunctively tested. Which means both should be fulfill with the result that matches both the patterns. For example, here we have, find employees, their job title, and their monthly salary. As we know we will have, employee, DBO title, and title. Then we add another triple pattern that is, same employee, DBO salary, and salary. And now the employee, his title, and his salary, will be conjunctively combined to give the output. And both the patterns must match. Another complex pattern is FORK URI, an acronym of friend of a friend, is a machine-readable ontology describing persons, their activities, and their relations to other people, and objects. Anyone can use FORK to describe themselves. As you can see the code shown below, is an example of FORK URI. Part of a query, it consists of, prefix declarations. Declare type of query, which can be select statement that return values of variables, or expressions, ask statement that returns true or false, describe statement that returns a description of a resource, construct queries that can build RDF triples or graphs. Define dataset, graph pattern, also called query pattern which are made from triple patterns, which can contain variables. Query modifiers, distinct removes duplicate results. Order by, specifies the order of results that is ascending and descending. Limit, it limits the number of results. Offset, declares from which result to start. Sparkle is similar to turtle but, prefix definition is not end by period in Sparkle, it is end by URI. We have prefix then comes the select statement, that tell us what we want to do in this example that is, searching an author name and the title of the books in DBpedia. Author name and the title, these are the two variables that should be return. We have from keyword, in which we specify which RDF graph from Sparkle endpoint should be query. Now at where part, we specify all the graph pattern that should be matched. Here we put filter constraints so that the displayed results should fulfill. And we put limit of 100. 
We will use Virtuoso Sparkle Query Editor and type the code that was shown earlier. Click on Run Query. As you can see we have author's name and the title of the book. We have use filter so it shows the book that have more pages than 500. That's all for today. Thank you.